to the bread kitchen. It's been raining heavily for the last two days, so I thought I'd brighten things up by making a delicious rye bread called a sunshine loaf. To begin with, we're gonna make a sponge. So I've got four tablespoons of milk and four tablespoons of water, and this is lukewarm. I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of yeast, give it a mix, and just leave the yeast to get going for about 10 minutes. Now that the yeast has woken up, I'm gonna gradually beat in 100 grams of strong white flour. Mix it well to get rid of any lumps and you should end up with quite a thickish batter. Now cover it and leave it for three to four hours in a warm place. After three or four hours, it should be bubbling nicely. I'll now add in 500 grams of lukewarm water, give it a whisk to mix well, and now I'll gradually add in 450 grams of rye flour. And what you'll end up with is a really nice thick batter. Now cover it and leave it again in a warm place for a couple of hours. After a couple of hours, it should have about doubled in bulk. I'll just transfer it to a larger bowl. All the time, the yeast has been adding to the flavors of this bread. I'll now add in 225 grams of white bread flour and a tablespoon of salt and mix well. Now it'd be really sticky at this stage and unworkable. So we need to add in another 225 grams of white bread flour and mix that in. Now what I've got is a soft and just very slightly tacky dough. Pop the dough on a lightly floured surface and knead it for about five minutes. After five minutes, you should end up with a nice, smooth and slightly elastic dough. Pop the dough into a lightly greased bowl Cover and leave in a warm place to double in size. My dough's risen quite well, so I'll just turn it out onto a surface, knock it back, and gather it into a ball. Now I'll weigh the dough and cut it into five equal pieces. That's one. So I've now got five equal pieces of dough. I'll take one of the pieces, put the other four to one side. Now I'm going to roll this piece of dough out until it's about 16 inches long. This is about 16 inches long. I'm now going to cut it in half. Then put the pieces on a lightly greased baking tray. Don't worry about them overhanging. Leave a little gap in the middle and then curl the ends round. Now I'll do the same with another three of the remaining pieces of dough. So I've used four of my pieces of dough to make eight limbs and I've curled them round on themselves. Now take the fifth and final piece of bread and roll it out to about 20 inches long. There we go, my piece is just slightly longer than 20 inches. Now I'm going to roll it into a snail shell type shape. There we are and then I'll drop it onto the middle of the loaf. Press it slightly. Now I'm gonna pop this in a plastic bag and leave it in a warm place for half an hour to prove. So here we are ready to bake. I'm just gonna brush it all over with some milk. Now with rye breads, you'd normally sprinkle on some caraway seeds. But since this is a sunshine loaf, I'm gonna sprinkle on some sunflower seeds. Now I'll bake this at 210 fan oven, 230 normal oven for around 25 to 30 minutes or until it's just lightly browned. Once it's this lovely brown color, we can remove it from the oven and pop it on a wire rack to cool. Like all rye breads, this is good with meats and cheeses. It's a great centerpiece for a party too. 
Now you don't have to use rye flour if you don't want to. You could use, say, wholemeal flour and you don't need to make it as big as I made it. Just half the ingredients if you want a smaller loaf. I hope you enjoy making your sunshine loaf and if you do, why not take a picture of it and post it on my Facebook page. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in the Bread Kitchen. Thank you.